Hello guys and girls, um, right I'm going to show you how to type a KD rig um, and as you can see I've got the components here uh, to do that with uh, fairly straightforward actually um, firstly talk about the hook link which is combi link in £15 um, really really good um, hook link um, I've had a fair few carp on it now and I'm really impressed with it uh, I've got a size 6 curved shank hook here um, from Corda. And I've got two little pop up bits of maze. Um, this rig is mainly for things like wafters or quickly balanced um, hook baits. But I have actually used it with a couple of pop ups as well, um, and it just seems to nail them really well. Uh, and what I've got here is a stripper tool from Corda and I've got a pair of scissors and I've got a fine latch needle. So the first things first that I like to do is I take on me Klingon Klinger from Nash and I just push that on the needle like so. Then I take combi link strip a bit off and I'll pass it through my stripper tool for about five inches. I like to always give myself a bit of extra. Just be careful and just strip all that off. Strip the coating off like so. As you can see that's stripped off. Then put on your cling on clinger like so. I've always found that if you slightly wet it, it helps by pushing that on. So if you push that down like so, tie on your hair. This bit can be a little bit fiddly, like so. There you go, it's formed a nice little tiny loop. Tag end off, and then what I like to do is two of these plastic bits of maize roughly works out to a 15mm bottom bait. So if I put these on, like so, and I take bait stop. Just thread that on like that. Now that clinger needs to be brought up to just there. So it will sit down like that on the bottom. Now what I do is I take off a bit more of the combi link and making sure that everything is where it should be. I then Bring the curved shank hook in, and it's pretty straightforward, really. I like to do that. I like to have the hook touching the bait as I'm tying it, and you'll you'll see why in a minute. So I wrap around once, twice, three times, grabbing the hook, minding the hair out the way. I then pinch hold of the hook by the eye. Carry on wrapping down a few more times. Then going back up the hook, holding that like so, putting the hair back, coming round, trapping the hair, and passing the whole lot back through the eye of the hook like so. And that's essentially the rig. Uh, as you can see, the hair kicks off the hook slightly, and it's basically a bit like a claw effect, really. Um, I move that clinger down like that, and it's basically just a big giant claw. When, when that's on the bottom, like so, they're just hovering up. Carp comes in and nails it. And then at the other end, just 
quite simply tie enough a loop like so wetting your knot as you always should with knots just pull in that tie and there we are that's the KD rig what I would do before casting out is I would grab hold of my two rig pullers that you would have seen me use and I will well, pull this rig tight and put the sleeve on this end attach it to a quick link to my lead system and uh, cast it out there I've seen one or two people actually put little tiny PVA bags on at this end uh, one to kick everything away from the lead um, but also a bit of added attraction around the uh, hook bait um, what I've found is I've done it myself is I've put a little tiny PVA bag of crumb on there um, just so I can kick everything away from the lead um, but it also acts as a bit of attraction so that's the KD rig and I also hope that you're enjoying the for how to guides uh, we're going to be discussing a few more rigs in the coming weeks so look out for them thank you for watching